Melissa Spanks. Now to the Color 10 News investigation tonight. Are there potential postal problems in the Ozarks? You've no doubt heard a lot of talk in recent months about possible mail delivery delays or concerns over voting by mail heading into the November election. Well, right now at 10, you're about to see the results as we put our local post office to the test to see how it might handle the envelopes this fall that contain big decisions, your vote. The U.S. Postal Service, mail-in voting, new fuel in a political firestorm. It's a suppress the vote tactic. Is this part of some vast conspiracy? No. This is going to be the scam of all time. President Trump and Postmaster General DeJoy openly sabotaged the Postal Service. It started over the summer when new Postmaster General Louis DeJoy instituted cost-cutting moves, including the removal of some machines and mailboxes across the nation. Last Friday, a U.S. judge blocked Postal Service changes that slowed mail and prompted concerns about absentee voting. But the president has voiced further frustration surrounding states where ballots are being mailed to people even if they haven't asked for one. This will be the greatest catastrophe, one of the greatest catastrophes in the history of our country. That's how serious it is. In Missouri, ballots must be requested. No county clerk will mail someone a ballot who doesn't officially ask for one. But what about allegations of delivery slowdowns? Is that a concern in the Ozarks? I am awful afraid of it being tampered with. Mainly the ballots being lost and maybe people voting that shouldn't be voting. I'm not going to go with the mail-in ballot. I'm concerned about whether they get counted in, in, at a timely fashion. We set out to see how election mail might be handled locally. To begin, we rented a small mailbox at the Glenstone Post Office in Springfield, P.O. Box 11065. The Greene County Clerk's Office gave us a sample of what the ballot would look like for November, along with the exact envelope provided to an absentee or mail-in voter to send the ballot back. We duplicated the exact envelope size and inserted a replica of the ballot inside the envelope. Our mail matched the size and weight of what you would send back to the Greene County Clerk. We used three stamps for first class mail, although election mail is actually sent back using a business reply account. We addressed 42 envelopes to our rented post office box that would mail on three different days. This map shows our 14 different blue post office box drop sites around Springfield and Greene County. We even made a stop in Polk County and included Christian County stops in Nixa and Ozark. We mailed on two regular business days and a Saturday. Each day we made sure our mail was dropped in the blue box prior to its stated pickup time. Then it was time to check for our results. One, two, three. Our first check found all 14 envelopes mailed on Thursday, September 10th, showed up Friday, the 11th, one day after they were dropped in those blue boxes. Hey, so let's see, we have a lot in here today. Wow, look at this. Our second look in the box found 13 of our 14 envelopes mailed Saturday, September 12th, came back Monday the 14th. The exception was an envelope dropped on West Chestnut that had a pickup time of 7 p.m. Saturday night. All the others were technically one-day delivery again since mail isn't picked up or dropped off on Sunday. A lot to sort through today. Our last check found all 14 envelopes mailed on Monday, September 14th, were inside our post office box the very next day, Tuesday, September 15th, along with that one envelope from Saturday's drop. It doesn't surprise me, and of course, we're still, you know, strongly recommending people mail a week out, but, you know, I have had a sense that even if they wait till that Thursday or Friday, um, to put that ballot in the mail if they're here in Greene County, that it's still going to arrive. Now, we're not recommending that. Mail-in and absentee ballots must be received at a county clerk's office in Missouri by 7 p.m. election night. Greene County Clerk Shane Scholler says he's encouraged by our results and he's preparing for an onslaught of ballot mail like his office has never seen before. I'll give you an example. One day we got a thousand requests. We've never had that much in one day. And wow. so that's significant. The U.S. Post Office sent out millions of these notices this month, urging Americans to request mail-in or absentee ballots at least 15 days before the election and to get the ballot back in the mail at least seven days before November 3rd. A spokesperson for the post office in Springfield declined our request for an interview so we could discuss the results of our delivery test. That spokesperson did give us a brief statement saying, we are constantly striving to improve our service and our employees 
employees are dedicated to serving the citizens of our state. Our results were based on what we found during the set number of days this month. There's no way to know whether delivery times will be the same or slower as we get closer to November. Green County Clerk Shane Scholler's office started mailing out ballots yesterday to voters who requested them. And so tonight here at 10, you saw exactly how local delivery times in our experiment were stacking up. But what if you're registered in Green County and maybe you're going to mail from another state? Send your ballot back that way. Well, part two of our investigation looks at the time from drop to delivery in several out of state locations. Our political analyst, Dr. Brian Calfano, will share those results coming up with you tomorrow night right here on Color 10 News at 10.